Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a landscape with chamomile and actually inspiration for this one I found <laughs> this time in my garden. I have just planted some seeds of chamomile so I'm trying to call her to come. For the painting I will be using this Claire Fontaine Fontaine watercolor paper. It is cold pressed 300 GSM or 140 pounds. First I will start with privetting the entire paper just using this larger brush and some water and then mixing in some blue. This is sky blue and dark brown to create a grayish tone and I will just do the first layer all around uh, my paper and just to create a very 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 light wash. I don't want to start with a black canvas I really do want to start with a very light wash and again mixing a little bit more of that dark brown. Later on I will put a masking fluid when this dries on top of it and then when we remove the masking fluid the light wash will be there so our chamomile won't be as a white and for the masking fluid I will be using this one from Dollar and Rooney. And I'll also be using this silicone brush to put in the masking fluid. I don't like to use my brushes, I don't like to ruin my good brushes, so when putting masking fluid I usually use either a palette knife or this time this silicone brush. I do love them, it's very easy to clean, you just remove it uh, from a masking fluid from the stick, you don't have to even wash it just with a clean towel, it just moves very very nicely. And I did not do my sketch, but that really doesn't matter. I, um, I'm just going to do a quite simple shapes. If it makes it easier for you, you can just draw in first your chamomiles and then add the masking fluid on top where you place them. I'm going to place them randomly a little bit taller on the left side, a little bit uh, less on the right side. And now I'm just adding and topping in some random dots just to create a little bit more uh, flowers and meadowy feel. I left it to of course dry completely and then I again wetted the entire paper and mixed in a little bit more of that blue and some dark brown and with this a little bit smaller brush this time round brush all the materials will be listed in the description box so if you want to check something out you will be able to find it there. I do want to make it look like there is some distant land there so I'm just creating it in the background very very light wash and some clouds and also I do want to make it look like there is maybe some lake there so just again doing a basic horizontal lines to create the feel of the lake. I'm not going overboard with anything I won't be adding more details to the background later on this is going to be it very very light and loose wash. And now I have mixed into my previous mix of blue and brown a little bit of the green and my uh, paper started to wash in the lower uh, dry in the lower part so I've added a little bit more of the water there just to wet it again. And with that mix I'm just tapping in with the tip of my brush a little bit more of the paint to create a grassy feel, meadow feel mix in a little bit more of the pigment this time a bit more saturated and just adding it especially on the bottom part just to create a little bit darker wash there. I do want my chamomile to be visible when I remove the masking fluid so I do want to have that wash a little bit darker especially around your chamomiles. Just have that in mind. Don't leave that place white, spot white because later on when you remove the masking fluid you will just have a white spot. You won't be, you won't see your chamomile. So just make sure around the chamomile you paint a little bit more of the paint. You add a little bit darker wash. Adding some grasses with this Lebensen brush. Again I will put a link for that brush in the description box if you want to check it out. I do love to use it for thinner lines, grasses, branches. It's quite nice for that. And again some splatters with the same color that I used for the paint for the meadow. 
and after it dried completely you make you have to make sure that it's completely dry your paper I'm just uh, removing the masking tape and it's going very very easily it's a it's a relatively new masking tape and it just goes very easily with my finger make sure your masking tape isn't old because you will be having very very big issues with removing it now I'm just picking up some yellow and also some orange with this um, smaller brush detail brush from Pan Art and just starting with the central part of the chamomile painting it yellow leaving just one spot white and then picking up some orangey and in the lower part just adding a bit more of the shadow and then mixing in again same colors as I did use previously some blue and brown and a tiny bit of the yellow to create again that warmer yellow warmer gray tone and just going on the petals of my chamomile adding a little bit of the shadows there just to create some texture on the petals and that's basically how I'm gonna paint all of my chamomiles It's very simple if you would like to add a bit more of the darker pigment just beneath the central part of the chamomile you can definitely do that I did want to leave them very very simplistic and delicate so I'm not adding more shadows I'm not gonna be adding more shadows in that lower part and I just like my painting this one to be quite light and have not really so much saturated tones again mixing same paint blue green and dark brown and I'm just adding stems and I'm not trying to make them go all the way to the edge of my paper I like to uh, just finish them somewhere on the paper so it does look like it goes into the grasses they're not just all in front of the grass they're just somewhere in the grass same thing on the other side and then I'm gonna be adding those grasses again not all of them are gonna start from the edge of the paper some are gonna be starting upper and I do want those that are at the edge of the paper to be the darkest so I'm painting them darkest and those that are a little bit further away are gonna be a little bit lighter also I will paint them just sticking out of my chamomiles also some splatters again <laughs> with the green same mixture I used for my stems just to add a bit more of the texture and at the end I decided also to add a little bit more of the splatters with white this is a peg white so I'm just splattering some white on top of my paint and with that I'll be finishing off there is just one more thing to do to remove the tape and quite simple if you did like this video please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel there are many many tutorials there for the beginners intermediate so I'm sure you will find something for yourself and again thank you so much for watching for joining me today hopefully you painted with me and I hope I'll see you next time bye